this is the work of the devil. I strongly believe this. Very uncouth, very uncivilized, but this is who I am. <laughs> so, this is delicious. I will not recommend because it's very, very, very salty. And the spice is nothing significant to talk about. So, yeah. I don't know. Welcome back to my channel. How are we doing today? I hope you are fine, staying safe, and most importantly, staying very, very close to God. So today we're going to be doing a little mukbang based on the poll that I made on my Instagram last week. We're going in favor of the majority being 93% saying yes and the 7% saying no. So for those of you who voted no, I will strongly suggest you do not swipe up on this video. Okay? Okay. So today we're going to be featuring this hers red hot potato chips and i think i'm gonna love it because it seems spicy based on the description so you guys know i'm lazy i start in the morning very early for those of you who do know my lifestyle i start the morning very early with breakfast and lunch for my appearance mm -hmm. then i do the cleaning and this and that and it takes about two hours so i just said to myself shari it's already been two to three weeks you haven't created a video get on it and no one's in the house right now except me so i have absolutely no disturbances how lovely is that hopefully the brain fog doesn't kick me and my trailer of thought is not distracted so let's go and hopefully this is on the right setting so guys i decided to myself while of course doing the machla i will explain to you my current status about my life and what's taking place and so on because i know a couple of you who i've contacted and had contacted me last two months concerning plans for my arrival to London of course no one's updated no one knows what's taking place so why not use this video to you know mm. wow it's very salty 15% of sodium wow But delicious anyway i actually thought it's going to be hotter than what it actually is so that's a disappointment and the salt i'm not into this amount of salt anyway there we go getting distracted again so for those of you who were expecting me at the end of may early june in london right now it seems a bit impossible simply because Upon trying to book a ticket, they're telling me there are restrictions to this country. They're not allowing anyone in currently, so that's really annoying. But hopefully, within the next week or two, things should change because I just understood. Switzerland started reopening their bars and restaurants and so on even though of course there is an influx in cases of course the economy has to go on right I don't know what our government is really thinking at this point honestly and truthfully because I mean I was in Barbados for one month for those of you who did not know upon trying to get back to Trinidad and their borders were never closed yet still they have a situation under control so it's really pissing me off at this point because I'm looking at this entire situation like okay Shari Two years of your life is gone, erased, deleted. It just, you know, it's been robbed from me and it's very painful. But of course, you know me, always stay positive and try to see the light at the end of the tunnel. But sometimes it just gets to you. After all, I am still human, right? So that's the situation. I am seeing flood and Say perhaps I get myself in the same position that I was in in January where the labs were so overwhelmed that people were just there waiting on the PCR test in order to fly missing it and having to reschedule and redo everything so here I am thinking about this I'm also thinking about sorry about that guys I'm realizing it's just turning more into a rant than a mukbang <laughs> but it's crazy 
So it's just like this. I hope this mic is picking it up because I'm realizing I'm really far back. Well, I'm also hoping that if I do decide to leave him, am I gonna miss Christmas again? This is what I'm thinking. If I leave now, seeing that it's already, you could say, May, and I'm gonna stay there approximately three to five months, does it have possibility that I'm gonna find myself in the same situation that I was in last year? And for those of you who do not know, I was trying to come back to the Caribbean in time for Christmas because Christmas is very dear to me. It's really something that you want to share with your family. I never miss one in my life. And also for the New Year's, it was really horrendous losing it with my family losing that quality time but of course god knows best so i just accept the situation you know but i just have to think of so many things at this point so yeah hopefully as the vaccine begins to roll out now because i believe if i'm not mistaken we got forty thousand vaccines from india the other day and then before that was another forty thousand so that's like about 80,000. We only have a uh, population of about 1.3 million. So if we get, let's say, approximately 100,000, that's about what? A little less than 10% of the population. But still, it's so confusing. You have no sense of direction because at the end of the day, our borders are closed and no one is saying anything about the real thing. So what do we do? I just joined myself to this new group on Facebook and it's titled I'm really in a dilemma right now because I have some options waiting outside for me. Of course, I'm still waiting on my call from the prefettura and time is just passed me flying you know i'm so angry in particular because mm, i saw a message to make me very happy thank you jesus i'm very happy at this point Ooh! okay yeah what was I saying? That happens to me. I always had this kind of delayed thought process, but it has gotten worse with this COVID. Worse. It feels like, what? What? And just this fog and confusion of stupidity. I don't know what's taking over. Of course, you guys know I have craziness in my blood. So that's part of it, but... Wow. I made sure to close the windows today, close the door and amplify the volume. You all get the real deal now, no? So, I made all these plans in the month of March because there was my birthday right there. I said, Shari, you're not going to be sitting down scratching at 29 years old so started putting things in place now i'm realizing oh my gosh your deadline is almost here and nothing has changed in the country what are you gonna do i can't take the risk apply for my exemption exit the country and hope and pray to god that I return in time for Christmas because it's my intention to make an application to return as soon as I land there. This way I have enough time. But it was so traumatic. Do I actually want to put myself back in that situation? Then again, these opportunities are not waiting for me. These opportunities are not waiting for me. These opportunities are not waiting for me nothing this is the work of the devil i strongly believe this so guys 
this is one of my longest videos ever and i'm sorry about that but am i really <laughs> am i really sorry because i'm sorry guys but it's something that i do very uncouth very uncivilized but this is who i am <laughs> So, this is delicious. I will not recommend because it's very, very, very salty. And the spice is nothing significant to talk about. So, yeah, I don't want to use my. <laughs> so, yes. Thank you so much for viewing this video. It's going into 13 minutes, but it's okay because we are on our way to our 4,000 hours. So, thank you guys so much for viewing this video. Hopefully you have made it to the end and you would have enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to like, subscribe or leave a comment section down below. God bless you all. Stay safe. Stay close to him. Stay prayerful. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Goodbye.